It's 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Saturday. You know what that means. It's time for Saturday Morning Serials. Hello, Platoon. It's your captain speaking. Bringing you the best in cartoons from yesteryear. <sighs> yesteryear. That that's, that's, sounds like an old-timey phrase. But, uh, that being said, all right, I want to say... Thank you to everybody who tuned in last week while I was on the road. I tried to chime in whenever I could. Um, you guys were there. We had a great turnout. I'm. You guys are kicking butt. Love you guys. Thank you. Um, I was at the Haunted Screams Expo in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, I want to say thank you to the people who showed up at the booth. Uh, the fan that come out and realized who I was, thank you, made me feel good. Uh, and to the new fans out there who are watching the show, kind of didn't watch it while it aired, um, but they they watched it because I showed the, the 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 I showed it after it ended. I re showed it at the at the con, and there was just people loving it. If you're watching, thank you. So. As always, Saturday Morning Serials brought to you by RU Game, the best comic book collectible, uh, DVD, Magic, Toy Store, located at 124 North Sunset Drive, Pickle, Ohio, 45356. And you can find us on Facebook under R, the word R, the letter U, Game. Uh, yep, people found me while we were in Virginia, so, oh. That being said, I'm doing something cool. Okay. Uh, next week, I'm doing something for Sci Fridays. I think I'm going to wait a f another week, the week after that. So not next week, week after. Where, where I'm going to give away something on the show. Uh, technically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something like I'm doing on, the, on, on Fridays. So I got to meet... Uh, some really cool guys while I was at the Haunted Screams Expo. I got to meet Gary Tunnicliffe and Mike Perkins. Uh, Mike Perkins. Uh, Mike Perkins is a comic book artist. Mike Regan, who is the suit actor in the movie Feast. Tunnicliffe, who did the special effects. He is in the special features. This is a signed copy. Signed DVD copy. Of Feast Unrated. Next week on Sci Fridays, tune in, watch the episode, because something on the set is going to come up missing. And by the end of the episode, I want you guys to tell me what it is. And I, and the first person who chimes in correctly, in that if they live inside the continental United States, will get a copy of Feast Unrated. So, double signed. So, and then the following week, not next week, the week after, we'll put something cool together that we'll be giving away for Saturday morning cereals. Because I, I, I did not realize we were going to be doing this good. Uh, suddenly, we went way past on uh, um, on subscribers. Thank you to all the subscribers out there. Thank you to people who just found us. Uh, thank you to all the people who are reaching out to me online. Thank you. We're having a blast doing this. Uh, I'm having a blast bringing you these old cartoons. Uh, and next week we're going to be doing something cool. Not next week, week after next, we'll be doing something cool for you guys. Uh, I want to do a couple contests and try to stagger them because I want to do two contests the same weekend. Sorry. Okay. So, I really mix this episode up a lot. There was some stuff I was going to bring, and um, dang it if I didn't forget to put it on this episode, so we're going to do the next episode. So, y'all been asking for it, I'm bringing it back, Josie and the Pussycats. Um, you know, I didn't think that was the show was going to do as well as it did with Josie. 
Uh, but you guys tell me you want more. So here you guys go. This is more Josie and the Pussycats. This is Josie and the Pussycats episode 5. The Midas Mix-Up. Enjoy. the Snow Bunny Lodge, Pussycat, where the skis meet the skies and the chicks meet the guys. Oh, wow, I really dig this gig. Well, let's unlock the luggage and check in with the boss man. Here's yours, Josie. Oh, why is she always first? Give me mine first. Hey, <laughs> Some rich baron lives up there. Now for one last test of my gold destroying microbe mist. from destroying all the gold in the world. <laughs> Josie and the Pussycats Long tails and ears perhaps Guitars and sharps and flaps Need sweet or groovy song You're invited, come along Hurry, hurry See your pleasure Or maybe Intruders on the tram car, sir. 
not discover our plans. Bring them to me. We've landed somewhere. Let's get out of this igloo. On your feet. You will come with us. You are intruders. Oh, no, sir. We're pussycats. I'm Melody, and this is Josie, and... Silence! You are intruders and must be disposed of. Disposed of? <laughs> That's no way to treat guests. You are not my guests. You are my prisoners. Try to leave, and my guards will use their sleep guns. What's this all about? I demand an explanation. In my laboratory, I have perfected a blue microbe mist that has the capability to seek out and destroy all the gold in the world. So what good will that do you? I'll tell you, my curious friends. Unless I am given half of the gold in the world, I will destroy all the gold in the world. Okay. Now that we know what you're going to do with the gold, what are you going to do with us? You will soon find out. <laughs> careful with that sleep gun. Hey, may I borrow that sleep gun when it's time for my afternoon nap? Open the cell. I'd hate to be in their shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they're going to do to us now. Oh, boy. The floor's moving. Oh, look at the pretty molten gold. Are you kidding? That's what they're going to do with us. We'll be gold-plated pussycats unless someone thinks of something fast. <laughs> it won't be long now. <laughs> Why, you? Come back here. It's about time you rescued us, you good-for-nothing feline. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> We've got to find a way out of this hilltop hacienda. But how? We can start by taking the elevator downstairs. What a crazy elevator. It sounds just like an alarm. It is an alarm. Let's get out of here. The intruders have escaped. After them! Slumber happy guards. Well, now we've got to find the other kid. Let's try this wall viewer. Whoops, wrong channel. That's not my favorite program either. There they are, going through that sliding door. Gosh, Alexandra, since he's sound asleep, how do you know he wants a shower? Maybe this will wake him up, silly. Oh. <laughs> Shh, I hear someone coming. Golly, where can we hide? I know, let's hide in the shower. No, Melody! Oh! Thank goodness we found you. Help! <laughs> there must be some way out of this old marble maze. It's pretty obvious. They're carting crates out of here. Well, that's gonna be our way out of here, too. Psst, gang, I found the conveyor belt to the storeroom. Ow! Let's belt out of here, cats. Brace yourselves. I'll try to start it. Oh, Valerie, I can start it. Move over. What? Yikes! Help! You've done it again, sis! Whoa! Somebody step on the brake. Now I know how a termite feels. 
We're lucky there are no guards around. Hey, look what's packed inside these crates. There must be a zillion cans of spray cologne. Are you beanbags going to escape or take inventory? Golden Mist Cologne. Mmm, my favorite. It's my favorite, too. Give me that. This will make me even more alluring to Alan. <laughs> Strong stuff. It dissolved away Alexandra's gold ski suit. <laughs> gold. That's it. These cans must be filled with a micro mist. So that's how Midas plans to distribute it around the world. As cologne. Yipes. Here comes Midas and one of his golden guards. Quick. Everybody in this empty crate. If I knew where those meddling kids were, I'd make short work of them. Stop your teeth chattering. Now stop shaking. Uh, uh, like I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, uh, I'll stop your sneeze, Alan. Oh, I'll do that for Alan, Josie. Uh, 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 Shoo! It's those meddling kids. Get them! Quick, gang, into this crate. I'll try to get the air car started. Yeah. Stop them! Stop them! walk away from is a good one. So they think they've escaped me, <laughs> but not for long. <laughs> In a diversionary move, you climb back up the slope, sneak into the fortress, and discombobulate his lab. No more microbe mist, no more mice. That's a great idea, Alexander. Come on, pussycat. Good luck, kids, and do be careful. Yeah, good luck, kids, and do be careful. Come on, Chicken Little. You're invited, too. Somebody get me a lawyer! Midas. The intruders are on their way back. Excellent. I'll have a reception party waiting. <laughs> wow, look at all those guards. 
They look like they're expecting us. We'll never get in. Well, they won't be expecting what we're going to do. Let's put our plan in operation. There they are! Fire your sleep guns! <laughs> Worked. Now, getting in the back way is a cinch. Hey, wait for Sebastian! <laughs> Ouch! How would you like a one-way ride to the dog pound? <laughs> wow, what a setup! And listen to that groovy sound. Okay, now let's get on with the rest of our plan. You know what to do, Val? Check. While you and the others keep Midas occupied, I'll rig up a powerful vacuum cleaner with this electronic junk. Then, Alex and I will use it to destroy the micro stuff in the lab. Gee, thanks a lot, Valerie. What is it? The maintenance crew is here, Midas. Very well. Show them in. Uh, don't mind us, sir. Uh, you'll hardly know we're here. Just keep it quiet. I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there, the world's most powerful electronic vacuum cleaner. Ready to go. Go where? You're not nervous, are you? No, I only shake like this when I'm scared stiff. This air conditioning vent should lead us right to the main lab. I can hardly wait. How does this thing work? Easy. With wires, just like a model airplane. Lower it gently. I have a better idea. Like what? Like why don't we retreat to a small island in the Pacific? Come on, just lower the vacuum. Now, start it. Okay. Here goes. Good. Now guide it to the cylinder outlet. Right. To your left. I can't look! Oh no! You jerked the wrong wire! It's out of control! Oh no! Oh yeah! <laughs> Hi there! It's the intruders! Sound the alarm! The alarm! Uh oh! They must have discovered Alex and Val! And here comes Midas! I'll stop him! Yeah! Quick, to the lab. Valerie, Alex, where are you? Up here. Help! Put your hands up, all of you. Help! Help! Uh oh, more guards. I'll stop them, but with this furniture glue. Showing off, Josie. Give me that blue. Watch me, Alan, dear. Oh, Carwell. A little lumpy, but still cute. <laughs> Get me off of this thing. Anything you say, sis. <laughs> Somebody stop the world. I want to get on. Oh, somebody will pay dearly for this. You will all pay dearly. Uh-oh, we forgot about him. I've just about had enough of you meddlers. And I've just about had enough of you, you 24 karat creep. If I can just reach that drape. There. I think you'll be my first victim. Hey! What a spot for the blanket toss routine. Right. It worked. Looks like curtains. I mean, drapes for Midas. Daisy. Daisy! Hey, watch it! Stop! Yikes! Welcome aboard. Thanks a million. Cleared for takeoff. Ceiling unlimited.
relax, Josie. You just hang on to me. I'll show you how it's done. But, Alan, I don't know how to ice skate. Ooh, if that conniving redhead wants a lesson in skating, I'll give her one. Sebastian, go trip Josie so I can skate with Alan. <laughs> Drugs is like being on top of the world. Everyone says so. Everyone seems to be having one dandy old time. Hey, it's part of growing up. Or is it? Just think about this. Before you go and do something you've never done before, you just better know what you're jumping into. The Air Raiders Command Post prepares for the Tyrant's Dragon Wind attack. Hit him with everything we've got! Thunderclaw! Launch! Remote missiles! Fire! Hold on to your helmets, men! Launch glider! Fire! Good shot! Launch claw! Launch storm dagger! Their army's at the command post! Launch slide! Air Raiders Command Post and Claw and Tyrant's Dragon Wind each complete with figures. Hope you're enjoying Josie and the Pussycats. Um, you know, everybody goes, well, it looks right. Scooby Remember, they had a Scooby-Doo crossover episode with Josie and the Pussycats. So, I wish I could air that, but I can get, I, I'm surprised they let me Josie and the Pussycats. Scooby-Doo would be a definite no. So, I'm sorry. All right. So, we're going to keep this truck a-rolling. This is boat a -rolling. See, I'm a captain. What kind of captain am I? Am I a, a, a tank captain? Am I a, a sea captain? I don't know. I'm Captain Cartoon. So I don't a pilot a boat? Hmm. I really should think about that. Get a whole motif going. But I like the bathrobe and the hat. And sometimes a clutch t-shirt. But this day, it's a Transformers t-shirt. That's right. Old school. Because I'm a dork. And I don't care. So, we're going to bring you... Journey to the Center of the Earth, Episode 3. Um, like I said, this is what I miss, man. And now I've been told that uh, in some markets, because we did uh, 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 Fantastic Voyages and Journey to the Center of the Earth, uh, in some markets that's, we're side-by-side -side in syndication. Uh, not in my neck of the woods, uh, but this is a cartoon I'm glad I found. So here you guys go. This is Journey to the Center of the Earth, and this is episode three. Enjoy. Long ago, a lone explorer named Arnie Sacknusen made a fantastic descent of the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered. First by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck Gertrude. But we were not alone. The evil Count Sacknusen last descendant of the once noble Sacknusen family had followed us to claim the center of the earth for his power mad schemes. He ordered his brute-like servant Tor to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the earth. Hey, what's up?
What's going on? Here's Arnie Sacknewsom's sign, but there's no trail. I think the modern Count Sacknewsom and his friend Torg are responsible for that, Alec. They got here first, and somehow caused a landslide behind them that wiped out the trail. Boy, I don't know why we bother to save their lives all the time. What are we going to do now? They stop, Torg. Stop forever. I have triumphed. <laughs> you see, they've given up. They're turning back. At last I make certain that the riches of Atlantis shall come to their rightful owner. Me. <laughs> For Torg to the center of the earth. <laughs> Pretty smart idea to build gliders if I do say so myself. Yeah, if they fly, it'd be smart. But if they crash, it'd be not so smart. Don't worry, they'll fly. The wind's picking up. Are you ready, Lars? Yeah. All right. You're cleared for takeoff. All passengers, fasten the seatbelts. Come on, Lars. Hold on, Lars. Do not worry. In my country, I was champion glider flyer. They made it. Let's hope we do. Come on. I knew it would work. Hey, wait for us, Cindy. Wow, look at those rocks. I'm glad we didn't have to cross that country on foot. What was that? Look. A prehistoric wolf. He must be four feet tall. Richard wants a ride, Lars. What is the matter, Gertrude? <laughs> Professor, in the sky! <laughs> Giant vampire bats. They're going to attack us. I'll get him. Good shot, Alec. There are too many, Alec. We'll have to dodge them. and Alec! They're getting closer! Alec! Where are you?
he must still be alive, or they wouldn't have bothered taking him. But where can they be going? They're going into that canyon. They'll see me in a second. I've got to get some cover. Oh, that cave. If I can just get in there. I thought they had me that time. Where are those rocks? Where did they go? They were here a minute ago. They have disappeared. Like fairy tale people. That's not very good manners. Maybe they was afraid. Afraid of ah! us? We must take over, Cindy. By those hills. used to live in England. We are the descendants of the ancient English druids. You see, it's very simple. And not to me. There's no time for explanations, Lars. They've promised to help look for Uncle Oliver and Alec. Yes, but we are not very strong. If the wolf people catch us, they will kill us. We will make an army. Then you will be strong. Do not worry, Cindy. We will find them, if they've been still alive. I must have walked miles already. If I don't find an exit soon, I'll never find one. Well, there it goes. Wait a second. There's still light in here. It's coming from there. Oh, thank goodness. It's wide enough to get through. Now, let's see where... That must be the headquarters of the Wolfmen. The place they were taking Alec. Sackness. I should have known that evil would always find evil, even down here. Somehow I've got to get inside that castle and find out what he's up to. Well, it looks like I'm to be the first underground cowboy. I'll never get by without his noticing. So I'll have to make sure he notices at the right time. Sounds like Sack Newsom now. My friends, here is my proposal. I, the great Count Sack Newsom, shall personally lead you in battle against your sworn enemies, the Druids. And when we have crushed them, 
you will in turn help me destroy my enemy, Lindenbrook. Do we agree? There's someone there. Get him! I'd better get... Uh-oh. to practice. Cavalry, charge! Good. Now, paratroopers! Are they ready yet, Lars? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Attention! We go fight the wolfmen now. Forward, march! I only hope we're in time. Professor Lindenbrook. So they got you too. Alec, are you all right? Of course he is. Do you think we would eat him? Or something savage like that? <laughs> Very amusing, Sagnosum. I'm glad you are in a laughing mood, Lindenbrook. But what I have in store for you is also very amusing and very civilized. You see, I took the idea from a famous work of literature. I'm sure you will recognize it, Professor. Now talk. The pit and the pendulum. <laughs> you refused to turn back when you had the opportunity. Now you will see how Count Sagnusim punishes trespassers on his domain. Come, Tog. It is time to lead our disciples into battle. Goodbye, Lindenbrook. <laughs> we haven't got much time. That thing's moving fast. Maybe there's a way through these walls. It's no use. There's no way. Unless we eat our way out. Eat? What makes you say that? Well, nothing. It's just that these walls are full of salt. Salt. I wonder. Yes. This is almost pure potassium nitrate. And unless I miss my guess, that sulfur mixed in with it. Look out! This is our only chance, Alec. Gunpowder. Potassium nitrate and sulfur makes gunpowder. Right. This should get us out. One way or another. Hurry! It's working! Get down! Watch out! The wall's going! <coughs> the whole thing's caving in! Yes! The castle itself is a giant powder keg, and we're at the bottom of it! Now you go back, Cindy. This is the start of Wolf Country. Black, the wealth paper. Good. Cindy, tell the others they better get ready. Yes, sir. Draw it down there. Yes, how convenient. The little fools have made our job that much easier. <laughs> As if their pitiful little army could hope to stop Count Sagnusim. <laughs> what was that? Well, uh, so much for Lindenbrook. Don't worry, tonight we shall sleep in the castle of the Druids. Attack! No! Paratroopers!
something, Korg. I run. Korg, stand here and fight. I command you. This time I will catch you, Sack Newsom. <laughs> He's fallen into one of my traps. They should know by now that John Sack Newsom always has another trick up his sleeve. <laughs> now is your chance, Tom. I get him. Looks like a battlefield. And the wolfman lost. Hey, there's the glider! And there's Lars. He's in trouble. Don't miss Alec. Lars's life depends on it. I'll try. Now. No! No! Good shooting, Alec. I'll go ahead and check, Professor. Yes, by all means, go ahead. The Professor and I have some private business to dispose of. Sacknusson, I thought you might be lurking around, but I didn't think you'd have the courage to show yourself without your baboonish friend. You have insulted me once too often, Lindenbrook. Now, I shall have my revenge! Would you attack an unarmed man? Of course, my dear professor. On guard! <laughs> ha! This time, I shall skewer you! That tree. Yeah! What? <laughs> Too bad, Count. You seem to have forgotten the first rule of hunting. Never step into your own trap. <laughs> Thanks to you, we shall never have to fear the wolf people again. We thank you with all our hearts. Oh, that was nothing. What about the Count and Torg? The last I saw of them, they were running at top speed, with the wolfmen hot on their trail. <laughs> now, if we only knew where our trail was. I am sorry, we cannot help you. That ring. Where did you get it? The legends say that it was given to my ancestors by a tall, white-haired creature many years ago, as a present. It must have been Arnie Sacknusom. Yes. What happened to this creature? He walked off into the Blue Mountains and was never heard of again. Not until now. Okay, let's get going. Where to? To the Blue Mountains. <laughs> Captain Power Videotapes. I don't believe it. 
Believe it, large human. The power of the future is in your hands. Batteries not included. Jets figures and new interactive videotapes each sold separately from Captain Power and the Soul. You know, it sucks when something gets forgotten about and left in a car for too long. And uh, that's why this was given to me. This was forgotten and left in a car. And uh, the package is literally melted, but the figure does not look like it's damaged at all. So everybody needs an ED 209 from Omni Consumer Products. You know, I was just in Detroit a couple weeks ago, and uh, they could still use uh, some Robocop or an ED 209 up there. Not going to lie. It's got a lot better. Could be better. Uh, I would definitely go to see the, if they put the statue of RoboCop up, I would definitely go see it and get my picture taken with it. Because, yeah, it's RoboCop. Uh, and I love RoboCop. But, uh, that, that's for later in the episode. But I hope you guys like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Uh, because here we go, we're rolling right along. We're going in to Peter Pan and the Pirates. Uh... This is a fun one. Tim Curry is the voice of Captain Hook. Man, seriously, how could you not like that? I mean, you know, I really wish it... Cause there's a thing, there's a thing. Supposedly, he did the voice for the Joker before it got went to Mark Hamill. But the voice was so scary, it messed with kids. I want to hear Tim Curry as the Joker. What the heck? Man, that'd be awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong. Mark Hamill, over the moon, great, super awesome as the Joker. Love him as Joker. Love him as, as Luke Skywalker. I mean, literally, it's, that's Mark Hamill. How can you go wrong? But, man, love to hear him as the Joker. But, uh, here you guys go. This is a Peter Pan, episode two, Tim Curry as Captain Hook. And the episode is the Ruby. Enjoy. Oh, his mind's always a blank silly. 
lovely, but you seem mesmerized. Like a sea slug. Listen to a sailor start to listen. You stole this treasure map from small Monday Island. Oh, the darkest food, so you could discover the love of that Grapple 
not coming, lad. Huh? Me in the eye with a burnt ferret, but try to catch them flying whippersnappers is like swatting skeeters in the dark. What Neverland is happening? Why is Peter spinning like a dog? And should I show her that bad Jack Skeleton cabin? <laughs> Ability to read the fine print, as it were, has finally succeeded in hoisting him on his own petard. It goes without saying that I, my faithful Matelos, and my good ship are at your service. I would not accept your help if you were the last creature on Earth, Captain Hook. You'll sing a different tune in time, my girl. Pull the Roger, curse! I believe Peter Pan is entirely waterlogged, and that we may begin our preparations to quit this accursed archipelago. It worked! It worked! My plan, your plan, it was my idea. Oh, who cares whose idea it was? It worked! We've got Peter Pan all to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We'd better snap a bubble around him quick before he drowns. Don't give up, Peter! We'll save you! Breathe, Peter, breathe. There. Right there. <laughs> what happened? Oh, nothing much. We saved you, that's all. I'll do the same for you, I promise. Meanwhile, I have to get back to the surface. Oh, no, you don't. We saved you, and now you have to stay with us. I, I like to, girls, but I can't. You don't have a choice, Peter Pan. You can't escape this bubble. And even if you could, you're so deep you drowned you getting to the surface. Let me go! You're just supposed to just to be my friend! What? <gasps> My bubbles have got to burst. Get out of here, you over two feet brain of apple break! I'll really give you something to bite on. Well, Peter Pan, I assume I don't owe this visit to my stunning beauty. <laughs> right now, you're as beautiful as any creature in Neverland, Crooked Tail. Well, what did bring you here? I was looking for the Neverland Ruby. Um, can you get me out of here? Yeah, back to the surface, I mean. Hmm, do come down and see my grotto first. <laughs> Ooh, that's the only place I can burst your bubble. Wait, Crooked Tail, what's that? That, my dear, contains many treasures. The Neverland Ruby? Not the Ruby, darling, but the map which leads to the Ruby. Oh, let me see it, Crooked Tail, please. Ooh, you're such a romantic. Well, I'll be floundered. Some saving fish has stolen the map. Or half of it. It's just like the other half of the map which started this whole thing. So that's how you know about the Ruby. What's it say? Here, you read it. I, I don't remember how to read. 
Ooh, honey, but reading is the most magical experience of all. Will you read it, please? Okay, okay, keep your hair on. The ruby is nearly yours to take. Hmm, it hides within the sunken lake. Retrieve it when the sun's last light gives way to dark and folded night. Sunken lake? I, I don't know any sunken lake. Hmm, but I do. Then take me there, please. Oh, the impatience of you. Put the map at the top of the boat. Whatever for. When Wendy and the Lost Boys find this map, they'll know I'm alive and where I'm going. Come on, let's find the sunken lake. Ikara, and I don't like the look of this. Them aerial scallywages are right too close to the ship for my liking. We're flying too close to the Jolly Roger for our liking. Look, what is it? It looks like the other half of the map with the clues to the Neverland Ruby. That's caused quite enough trouble already. Adora! There you are, Mr. Smee. The wretched map that will lead you and your avaricious friends to the Neverland Ruby. Well, we'll all be books by Dan Donnelly. And why would you be giving us the map, Missy? Because I hope you find that horrible jewel and leave Neverland for good. After all, now that Peter's gone, there isn't any reason for you to stay. And no reason for us to stay either. We're leaving Neverland forever. Well, all you be banjacks. We can't stay in Neverland without Peter. But where will we go? Home, I suppose. But this is our home, Wendy. Not without Peter, Michael. And not even Peter Pan can survive underwater. But how will you find your way home? I think I can remember the stars we passed on our way here. We'll follow them in reverse order. The ruby is nearly yours to take. It hides within the sunken lake. Retrieve it when the sun's last light gives way to dark, enfolding night. Nibble. Sunken lake? What patterning is this? Who ever heard of a sunken lake? I have read of a sunken lake in my almanac, Captain. A dark place of sea serpents and giant... Button your gob box, you pusillanimous poltroon! Now... Lead me to this almanac and show me the exact whereabouts of your paradoxical sunken lake. Retrieve it when the sun's last light gives way to dark and folding night. But be warned. I say, Captain, there's some kind of warning. Warning, Gentleman Starkey? Aye, Captain. It says, but be warned that if you want too much, the prize may crumble at your touch. Boulder Dash, ready the lumber while I confer with our resident expert on all things mysterious and arcane. There's the entrance to the sunken lake. And that's where we find the Neverland Ruby? Oh, it's not what you expect, young Peter. But it is treasure, isn't it? One man's treasure is another man's cross. There it is, lads. The entrance to the sunken lake. Captain Bly could not have navigated more accurately, though I do say it myself. Belay that lollygagging, you soft beast nappers! Row! Shutter, Flux, and Copper Pot Top, where are you off to? Home. Wherever that is. Home? Why? Whatever for? And how will you get there? I never heard of anything sillier in my life. But that's humans, I suppose. How can we stay here now that Peter's gone? Gone? Gone where? He drowned. Little six. If Peter were gone, Neverland would be falling apart. It's as plain as a nose on your silly face that it isn't. Sometimes, Wendy, you are such a twerp. But, but that means you gave the pirates the treasure map that leads to the sunken lake. Sunken Lake? Well, that's where Peter's probably headed. Come on! Oh, Bob, have a talk. 
What witchery is this? I say, this place is a veritable kaleidoscope. Veritable or not, lady, there's strangeness afoot. You are a miserable and pessimistic doomsayer, Robert Mullins. A poor dinner companion. Strike a night! The Neverland Ruby! That's a Neverland Ruby? It certainly is. But it must be the most valuable stone in the entire world. Oh, it is. But not for the reasons you think. Look! It must be the most valuable stone in the entire world. Aye, well, how to move it? We don't need to move it, you lummoxes. We'll simply blow the top off and take it with us. That alone will be worth more than any gemstone the world has seen. Hook is going to get the ruby. I have to stop him. <laughs> well, let him have it, Peter. It'll bring him no joy. Down there. Right down there. Stand aside, my salt horse squire. Now, let us beat a judicious retreat until Johnny Gunpowder has done his work. Uh -huh. You have to let me eye your crooked tail. You must. Uh, only I can stop them. Like so many young men, you overestimate yourself, Peter Pan. But rest assured, the Neverland Ruby is not for Captain Hook, any more than it is for you. roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You! Not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh! Hello, appetite control, more protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops! 
All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow, so that next time you feel hollow, don't just fill your face with any old kind of treat. This goes for every kid or six-foot athlete. All you really are is what you eat. Turn after these messages. Police Academy! Well, well, Mr. Sneeze, put up your bag. Surprise, Mommy. He was done in the tie trick. Now back off. Okay! My crazy tears are what a lucky break. Zed, look out! Shut up! Please, he's dangerous. Dangerous? Welcome to jail. I love this job. Please come clean and justice triumphs again. Case closed. Police Academy. Eats on separately. I feel a draft. Power Lords. It's the terrestrial warriors. I am Lord Power, leader of the Lords. Riptog and Lagos are attacking. We must help Psyduck defend Balkan Rock. Power Lord. Riptog has four fists. Psyduck is finished. It's Lord Power. He's at Krypton's head. But Arcus has Sidon. <laughs> Power Lords. And Empower Sidon, Griptog, and Arcus are each sold separately from the Power Lords collection, new from Ravel. Hey, I hope you like Peter Pan and the Pirates. Uh, definitely not an 80s cartoon. It's an early 90s cartoon. But uh, it's, 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 I think it's in the 90s. So it's, it's on the cusp. In 1990, I was 16 years old and never home. I was working at a comic book store, working at a grocery store. Uh, I had a girlfriend at the time, I think. Seems about right yet because I was driving. And uh, still had time to go to the movies and hang out with my friends and play Dungeons and Dragons. And watch Saturday morning cartoons before I had to be at work. Uh, if not, I just threw a tape in and recorded it while I was at work and then I watched it when I got home. Because uh, for you kids that don't know, we used to have these things called VCRs. We had to take a tape roughly the size of a book, stick it in the thing, and programmed it for time. And uh, you could put your tape in uh, three different modes, and it gave you three different qualities. Uh, most people put it in the six-hour quality, which gave you the worst quality, but put as much on a tape as you possibly could. Uh, I would set it at four, start it at eight, let it run. And occasionally, I could use two VCRs because I recorded at my dad's house and at my house and get two blocks of cartoons, which I wish I still had. So if anybody still has VHS tapes full of Saturday morning cartoons, please send them to me. I will digitize them and hopefully whichever ones I can still use, I will put on the show. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'd love to do. So if anybody has any old cartoons on VHS tape, it's just sitting on shelves or whatever. I will take them. I will keep them and, and love them and nurture them and make sure that that does never disappear. Uh, so, here we go, guys. I told you this was coming. And uh, that's right. We got, we got Ed, Ed 209 out for a reason. Because it is RoboCop Alpha Commando. And somebody brought this up. Yes. That intro is bad. Just Robocop over and over and over and over again. Just Robocop. Robocop. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. I'm a, a huge Robocop nerd. I love the Robocops. I love the original three trilogy. I like the remake. I like the both cartoons. I even like the TV series. I have most of that. I don't have all the, cartoon, or all the cartoons because some of that stuff is out of print. So I have it. I just don't have actual physical uh, legal copies. <laughs> but here you guys go. This is Robocop Episode 7.
Newmeyer, can anybody hear me? Just five more minutes, Mom, please. We've been paged by Division Alpha. Yeah, in the middle of the night, oh, man. Yes, fortunately. There's a jet waiting for you. You'll receive further instructions once you're in the air. Not even a quick hello first, Alpha Prime? Hello, Agent Weiner. Well, you won't be needing me. You can just drop me off anywhere. I'll call a cab or something. Oh, uh, no, Dr. Neumeyer. You're part of this mission. Yeah, but I... <laughs> Robocop may require assistance in the Sub-Zero weather. Sub-Zero? Where exactly are we going? You're going to Antarctica. We've lost communication with an international scientific colony there. It's cold. Maybe their tongues are stuck to a flagpole. Hey, it happens. It was barely nine, okay? They've been searching for meteor rocks trapped there in the ice. They found something, haven't they? Last reports indicate that they unleashed a sort of space virus. You have to quarantine the base camp and isolate the virus. Understood. The virus cannot be allowed to escape to the rest of the planet. Try this. You put your right leg in, you put your right leg out, then you shake it all about. <clears throat> Great. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. Hey, the camp, we're about to land. Not exactly. I hate this part! Snowmobiles are disabled. No one's going anywhere until we say so. Oh, joy. Good. We think the cold may be containing the virus. 
But if it escaped to warmer climates... What can you tell us about this space virus? Not much. It seems to cause deep terror. The virus makes people afraid? Of what? Everything. The hallucinations are their own worst fears coming true. Your computer has an unusual delete key. Our cook has always been scared of computers. Remind me not to annoy your cook. I'd better go check on him in sick bay. Where are you keeping the meteor fragments that caused all this? We've sealed the source of this plague in a special box in a containment tunnel. I will contact Division Alpha for quarantine pickup. They'll dispose of the space rocks, but what about the stuff already in the air? Well, if no more escapes from the space rocks, then what's here could dissipate until it's basically harmless. In theory. If this virus makes it out of here, the whole world would just collapse in fear. What? D don't push me! Don't! Dr. Negroni, calm down! Do not be afraid. will attempt to stop her. That's a containment hut. Someone's broken in. Let me be hallucinating. Please let me be hallucinating. I'll go check it out. <gasps> you get away! Please, do not be afraid. PhD does not count. I can't even cut my own toenails without getting nauseous. I can't swim. I don't know how to swim. Help me. steal the space rocks. It's not like they can go anywhere. It is a long, long way home. There are significant thermal fingerprints. Perhaps Division Alpha will have a match. Alpha communications. see it too, and it's very, very real, and very much the work of Dr. Anias Gaia. That twisted gene doctor here? Somehow that elderly woman's thermal prints are a perfect match for Gaia. But every member of this colony has a level 5 security clearance. But then, we are talking about Anias Gaia. Printer. But this woman must be 70 years old, and Gaia can't be more than, say, 39, 40, maybe 41. Hey, don't be catty. 
That's my job. You didn't recognize me, did you? <laughs> I can manipulate my cells at a genetic level. Oh, my little <gasps> beauty secret. Return the space stones, Gaia, or there will be trouble. <laughs> Temporary. But we've got to get Gaia. I have scanned the area. She has no means of transportation. As you said, where is she going to go? Those bird things. Why did Gaia bother to create them? Dispersion of virus. First, the birds are exposed, then they travel to a warmer climate where it multiplies. In a matter of days, the whole world's exposed. Great! Like Typhoid Mary, only these things can fly. Then the whole world collapses from fear. And Gaia has her chance to create a perfect world from the ground up. How long before Division Alpha said the backup team would be here? Fourteen hours. That's too late! Oh, wait! I can't go in there! I was exposed to the virus! I tested your suit's air during the repair. You were not contaminated. But the seal is only temporary. That's a relief. Thank you. This is a sterile room! Go away! My partner requires attention! We won't let you in! Yes, you will! Tracking down Anias Gaia. Dr. Gaia? Here? Where's Miner? Is she okay? Her suit was torn, but she's in a safe place now. Wait! What happened to your suit? You've been exposed! I'm fine, but we have to stop Gaia. Did you just say we? Yes. I, I could just um, stay here and, uh, you know, make some oatmeal for when you get back. Maybe. My visual scanner is malfunctioning. <laughs> Let me take a look. Robocop, are you okay? Closer, or I will fire. Robo Robocop! You're hallucinating! All weapon systems! Robocop, no! <laughs> Please be okay. Please be okay! You've got the virus. You were hallucinating. Correction. I am hallucinating. Let's get you to sick bay. No. We have to stop Gaia. But you can't function like this. I am stronger than this. I have to focus on my mechanical side. But, but how are you going to track down Gaia? That's where you come in. You have to override my systems. You have to take control. Oh, the 
This feels like a bad idea. It's not safe oh, at all. Oh, we don't have any time. Please, you're all Quiet. wrong. I don't know anything about making antidotes, but you do. Here's the deal. You get busy, or I'll introduce you to a whole new meaning of your worst fear. Robo Slam. I installed seat belts, right? <sighs> okay, then. I'll do what I can. Let's go get Gaia. <laughs> what? Sorry. What? What? My fault. <laughs> hey, it's kind of fun. <laughs> hey, hey, I think I see something. Where? To the right, by, by the ice blocks. It's got to be Gaia. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> Return the rocks and you will not be harmed. Never! This space virus is my key to a new world order. My world order, Tin Man. Within days, every genetically juvenile human will be destroyed by its own worst fears. Then. I'll create my own perfect world the way it was meant to be. <laughs> no, get away from me! My flock will share this virus with the world! Say hello to the beginning of the end. Robocop, stop her! Must trust my mechanical half. Open your shoulder panel. What? Do it! Explosive rocket. You will not stop me! Let's see what other tricks I put up your sleeve. What's that? My hallucinations are getting worse. Actually, that's real. Well, that's a relief. Wait, that's not good. My ride's here. Yep. No! Nobody hurts my friend. You call that pile of wires a friend? <laughs> no more fun and games. Help! Robocop! Where are you? Newmeyer. Looks like the antidote you came up with is working. Don't thank me. The scientists just needed a little motivation. So your worst fears were about losing your human self? I thought so. Until I thought I was losing my friends. I wonder. Space debris hits the Earth every day. That fear virus could be floating everywhere. In small amounts, I guess it doesn't affect people. Yeah. I'm just glad to be home where it's safe.
a radio stack, radio controlled car. Watch out! Here comes Buster! My 4x4 off roaders, big tires, hit a lot of bumps to get me out of it quick. And look at my turbo racer, run for cover! Doing my high speed turbo Lamborghini corner, I'm out of sight in no time! Oh, he always finds us. Buster loves to chase cars. Radio Shack's Radio Control Turbo Lamborghini 4x4 Off-Roader and Turbo Racer. Batteries not included. Radio Control toys each sold separately. Only at Radio Shack. In Rambo's world, this is the enemy. Carol Warhawk, the leader of Savage. He's pure evil with a machine gun, grenade launcher, and a killer sword with a deadly secret. Get the point. Leading the force of freedom with a hot new battle action flamethrower. Rambo and Warhawk, each sold separately with their battle action accessories from Coleco. Hey, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting old. I'm almost 50. Sometimes the captain needs glasses to read. And, uh, the last name of that last episode was Plague on Ice. So, uh, yeah, I gotta cheat sometimes. The captain needs glasses. At least to read. I can see everything else. No problem. Driving. Reading sucks. Need glasses. Unless uh, I bust out the comic book I don't need glasses for. Uh, yep. There we go. There you go. That's a comic book you don't need glasses for. I can read it. It's ginormous. And it is Kirby sized. These things are awesome. Love these things because I'm weird. I love giant books for some weird reason. Uh, it goes back to my whole fact that I love my uh, Marvel Treasuries. So those are bigger than Marvel Treasuries. That makes them even cooler. So, I hope you liked Robocop. I know I do. And we're going to keep going with a cartoon I brought a couple weeks ago. And that is Extreme Dinosaurs. And, uh, yeah, this is so much 90s. Uh, I, I, the fact that they're not eating Doritos and drinking Mountain Dew in every episode is, makes this show not as extreme as it could be. Uh, the fact they use extreme a lot. The 90s were all about extreme. Extreme! People just yelling it. Like, the whole thing. Yeah. Everything had to be extreme. They had extreme Doritos. And uh, I think they were, like, puffed or... Uh, Spicy or something like that? I don't know. I know I didn't, I didn't much care for them. I like Doritos. Fan of Doritos. Love my original, my uh, nacho cheese, and cool ranch. Hot ones are good. Man, that original trilogy. Yeah, that's where it's at. So here you guys go. This is Extreme Dinosaurs, Episode 3 Ichthyosaurus Vacation. Enjoy. <laughs> depleted ozone layer with fresh new ozone and making our lives a freezing nightmare. Not much longer. If you please, Mr. Spitter. Stop right there! Send them back to the Ice Age! Let me take that for you! Sorry, this is a hats-free zone. Destroy the dome! 
It'll trust the Ozone of Fire! Stop them! This amazing security footage is brought to you by the world's most wanted. You can help catch these criminals. Keep your eyes peeled for deranged men dressed in dinosaur suits. The world's most wanted will be right back after these messages. I need a plan to get those dinosaurs out of my scales. Think! <laughs> it's, it's too cold to think! No! Do you dream of a hot tropical paradise? Yes! Huh? Welcome to Mexico. Mexico? That's it! <laughs> White, sandy beaches, breathtaking seascapes, the warmest, most inviting ocean you ever swam in, and your dreams you've been to Mexico. I love Mexico! Where is Mexico anyway? And don't forget the food. Mmm! But watch out, it's hot! Oh. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Turn it back! I don't know. Should I get this one or the Ab Rippler Plus? Ooh, or Abracadab. Oh. Feel those rays! Heat, wonderful heat. Give me that! Okay, that's it! Easily fixed, guys. Uh, shopping internet, here we come. Ordering TVs. Let's go for the big screen this time. What do you say? Bullseye's always buying stuff. What are you waiting for? Mexico is calling to you. You must. I said, what has he ordered recently? The bird, when he screeches, that frequency would shatter a TV, wouldn't it? And he screeches all the time. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> it's not like it's the first time I blew the TV. Hey, what's going on? Scope this out! I, I think I just won something! You have won a holiday for four, to extremely sunny and blisteringly hot Mexico! Huh? No. no. Yes! All you have to do to claim your guaranteed prize is to come to San Felix, Mexico for our midsummer fiesta dressed in costumes of your choice. We'll go as dinosaurs! Wait, there's more. And for your information, the temperature today in San Felix is... There is life out there! I just deciphered a message from another dimension. <sighs> Them's the brakes. So where are we off to? No, no, no. You guys aren't going. No, no. After getting caught on that security camera? No way. But... Code 472 subparagraph C of the interdimensional charter is very clear. Time you lay low. I'm going now. And I don't want to hear a squeak out of you for two weeks. Are you reading me? You're absolutely right, as always. Wow, two whole weeks. What to do? Two weeks in the freezing cold. Or two weeks... IN MEXICO! Holy! Buenos dias! Mexico, I love you! Do as I say, or I'll pickle your head in the hottest chili sauce I can find. Now go! Buenos dias! <laughs> welcome to San Felix. Gentlemen, welcome! You are the winners of the competition, no? That's us! Yep. Your costumes, muy excelente! We have uh, instruction to take you to the hottest place in town, Agua Caliente. <sighs> this way, please. 
Cretaceous? Oh, I love these people. Hot, hot, hot. Mexico, here I come. Is this agua caliente like uh, edible? It's a hot springs, boiling hot water. This way, please. Not on an empty stomach. No, no, no. You must go this way. Go on. Ah! Hurry them along. Uh, you can have burritos, tacos, enchiladas, chicken and mole sauce, mariscos, tostadas, tamales, or menudo. That'll do. Okay, me too. Make that four. Hey, and uh, don't forget the salsa. Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, senores, uh, come quickly, please. Agua caliente beckons. <laughs> no dessert? <laughs> well... If you insist. Okay. Ah, caramba, will they never stop eating? Uh, that is your hotel uh, for later. Now, come along, please. These mariachis, they're awfully nervous, aren't they? I wonder if they have the shopping channel. <sighs> At last, uh, here we are. And now we say adios. Ah! Good work. <laughs> now scrap. Ah! Last one ends at Diplodocus. You don't think that dumb bird actually won something, do you? I found out where you were. I tricked you to get here. I sent dear Captain Bodzak on that wild interdimensional goose chase. And now, I will make you dive! If you insist. What the? Up. No, that's huh? not. It's freeze here or freeze there. Take your pick. Go ahead. Make my holiday. No! Hold on! Go on, finish the job. I'll take him from behind. You could Take us in 65 million years! Don't be so sure. <laughs> Give me the phone. Is this Roswell? Dr. Becky Scarwell, please. Hello, Doctor. Have any interest in some frozen dinosaurs? Three talking dinosaurs. triumphant moment if you hadn't let that bird get away! Carnitos Burrito Suprema! I'd wait for the other guys, but... won't hurt to eat just a few. Oh well, I can always make more. Hey! Where are they, anyway? Give you three guesses. After Roswell, we thought you'd want to join them. Get them to the 
Neuromath. Immediately! No! Apply security tracker bracelet. Good. Now commence thaw. No point trying to break free. They're Andromedan steel, courtesy of a few of our other guests. You got away from me once. It won't happen again. Great. Okay, how to get in? Think. Come on, Wing. Just give me one more ride. Apply neurological brain scanners. What? Thermal coupling combined with sonic detection could have substantive debilitative effects on our synapses. Put another way, they'll fry us. Fascinating specimens. Okay, up here I might be able to see something. Yes, the sand dunes. They're in a pattern. They must be air vents. Found him. Pteranodon, four o'clock. put dinosaurs in this place. Incredible! Dinosaurs with highly advanced brains. How should I know, Larry Glint? Alien testing wing? That wasn't me, I swear it! Who cares? Just hurry it up! Me, bullseye. Uh, uh, sorry, guy. Ooh, this is weird. Yeah. I can walk through glass. Nobody knows, but I can. Uh, okay. I'm looking for my butts. Have you seen them? Three big reptiles. Hey, listen, uh, thanks, but I can do this faster alone. Uh, no offense. You listen. I can't hear anything. Hey! Hey, I need to hide! Help me! You do not need help. Huh? Right again. Bye now. Your wing hurts you. It's nothing. Now, it is nothing. Come. Unbelievable! Yeah. Stop! Start! Start! Hold on, guys! Yeah. Speak to me, guys. Come on. Can you speak? Guys! Oh no! Oh, oh this can't be happening! Yeah. No, stop! Not that! Anything but that! Way to go! Just in time for a guy! Good work, Bullseye! Going down! Sorry, it's gone! Great. Wait, 
to just get into them. Look who's here. Huh? <laughs> Boss Lysum. What do you say we leave yeah. Scarwell a couple of experiments? <laughs> Need some help here, guys? My pleasure. Sure thing. <laughs> I want out of here. You're gonna pay big for this. Ouch! You know, this vacation may not be a bust after all. Never had so much fun. You are surrounded! Come out with your massive forearms up! How did she find us so quick? These, I suspect, probably some sort of tracking device. Give up! You cannot escape me! You want to make a bet? Perhaps it's triggered by some sort of sound frequency. Uh, excuse me? Frequency is my middle name. Yes! Well, time we be moving. Going up! Go on! I'll catch up. Where did they go? What? After them! Huh? What have we here? I came to bust you guys out. Well, not you. You don't need help. Thank you. Whatever. Some gratitude. Guards, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here! Tell us about it. But where? Section 4554, Interdimensional Reconnaissance Charter. In desert conditions, 17 liters of fluids must be carried by each individual at all times. I don't see any fluids. Music to my ears. Dinner. Let's move it, guys. Step on it! Woo! Yes! Go! Hey, stop hoarding that sauce of sticks. Hand it over. Come on, guys. I told you how Bad Rap fooled me. Off the record, how did they catch you? Uh, we don't remember. The brain scan. Cannot remember a thing. Bullseye. Off the record, we were abducted by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> we almost had them. I could taste it. Ugh, useless reptiles. What I'd give for one raptor, just one who was able to... It's a raptor egg. This is a raptor egg! A whole army of raptors! Oh, my dreams are answered. Oh, this is glorious! Too good to be true! This is the best day I've had in 65 million years! And the worst day for the extreme dinosaurs. Watch this. Was it that great? <laughs> That's not great. That's terrible. I mean, what are you gonna do with the radio antenna? Nothing. That's what. 
So I fail to see what's being accomplished here. When you destroy someone's property, it's just not funny or cool. How would you feel if someone trashed all your stuff like that? Listen, there are a lot of ways to have a good time, but destroying someone else's property just isn't one of them. Hey, Dad, can you listen to the game on the radio? Oh, sure, why not? Oh, no, somebody's busted my antenna. And that's one to grow on. The Force is back. The Rebels won't tire till they see the last of the Empire. And Kenner's there with Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. The next prisoner, Gamorrean Guard. Gladly, Jabba the Hutt. C-3PO, Gamorrean Guard, and Jabba the Hutt place at each so separately. Mr. Hutt, you've captured my friend. Free him and keep me instead. That's a sorry tale, but this tale make you sorry. Jabba the Hutt place at another action figures each so separately from Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection from Kenner. Hey, I hope you like the the extreme dinosaurs. Um, I know I, they're fun. That's this is a fun cartoon. I mean, it's very much a, a a painful reminder of the '90s, but a fun painful reminder of the '90s. So, you know, we're going to one of my other favorites. Right? You, you, you had RoboCop. Now we're going to Conan. I love me some Conan. I got a ton of the old school books. I've got some of the books from the, the 70s and the 80s. I even have some of the Choose Your Own Adventures books. I have the role playing game. I have the video game. Uh, I have a I have a Conan painting hanging up at my shop that somebody did forever ago. And uh, if I can ever figure out who painted this, that would be awesome. But it was literally left in a house. Uh, when it was repoed, and I ended up with it. So, but this is Conan, episode four. Conan, the Gladiator. Enjoy. upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Previously on Conan the Adventurer, Conan's parents were transformed by the cruel wizard Rathamon. And I will never rest until I've restored you to flesh and blood. Conan is aided in his quest by Needle, a magical baby phoenix. Ah, Needle not want to go with a big dumb barbarian. Ah, Zula, who has the power to communicate with animals, and Jesmin, a circus acrobat. Together they fight the evil of Rathamon. Are you sure this will work, Conan? Watch. Zula taught me well. By the sign of Jabal Sag, master of beasts, animal brothers, hear my call. I summon forth a lion. Excellent, Conan. Well, it did work. Wasai warrior woman. Chief Portier has sent me to find you. I come bearing tragic tidings. Prince Zula is dead. Conan, you are now the prince of the Wasai. The Wasai mourn the loss of my son. I have come as summoned, and I have come to stand by my blood brother's side one last time. Where is Zula's body? Gone! Gone forever. 
I will tell it just as it happened. Sula and I were on a diplomatic mission to a northern tribe when we were attacked by the cannibals of Darfur. I put up a gallant fight, but there were too many. And what of Sula? I... I tried to save him, but he panicked, and they seized him, binding him head and foot. Then they came after me. I barely escaped with my life. While Zula, poor, poor Zula, was carted off to Darfur, the city of cannibals. I have never seen Zula panic in battle. Conan, you must now fulfill your duty. As Zula's blood brother, you are now Prince of the Wasai. No. First, I search for Zula. No! I mean, it is futile. There can be no hope for Zula. Zula would not be taken so easily. I saw him taken myself. Do you call me a liar? By Krom, something rings false in this tale. I will learn the truth. Water, give us a chance to search for Zula and prove beyond a doubt our friend is gone forever. Very well, you may go. But return by the new moon, whether you have found Zula or not. Do this, or Gora will become prince in your place. I vow I will find Zula. said and done. <laughs> I knew if I waited, you'd provide me with fitting entertainment, Zula. Who is this overdressed pig? Baron Shato, ruler of Darfar. What does he mean by entertainment? Here in Darfar, my dear, we enjoy playing with our food. <laughs> For daring to enter my kingdom uninvited, you are all condemned to gladiatorial combat. I'll tear your kingdom down around your ears, you fat devil! No! Ooh. Those flowers, the colorful ones are the deadly purple lotus. Their juice brings paralysis, then death. Shato planted them to prevent anyone from escaping his arena. Needle. Hide here. If we fail, you must return to Boatir and tell him what became of us. Oh, Needle not like this idea. What? You can hide inside the White Lotus. It will not harm you. Prisoners! Get away from that wall! Let the games begin! Unleash the beast! First good meal in weeks! <laughs> Ooh, 
Stay your hand, Conan. By the sign of Jabal Sag, master of beasts, animal brothers, heed me. Defy the true enemy. Do not attack. Machine. Have you anything else? Make it good, Sharto. We bore easily. You fight well against beasts and machines. How well will you fare when I pitch you against one another? A fight to the finish with only one survivor permitted. Never. Never! Huh. Lay down your weapons and go to the dungeon and await tomorrow's game! 
We will not! Either you fight tomorrow, or I will end it right now! You decide. Throw down your weapons, or my archers will strike you down where you stand! If I were alone, I'd fight to the last! Don't hold back on my account! Conan, tomorrow may give us a new chance. Let us not throw away our lives for nothing. Take them to their cells! <coughs> My friend, I am afraid pure strength won't be enough. We must find another way. Ah, ah, Conan! Need to find you! Ah, Quiet! Find Jasmine. See if she's all right. Conan, it may be that only one of us leaves the arena tomorrow. True. We must ensure that it's Jasmine. Then I have an added task for Needle. Needle, listen carefully. Needle! Ah, ah, Deadly purple lotus? Is this some cruel joke? Joke? A joke? Yes! Very good joke! Ah, yes. Throw their weapons to them! Shato! Be warned! The Wasai won't let this outrage go unavenged! Is that all you men are good for? I don't boast! Be silent! You are of no use to me! She came to save your worthless hide! You barbarous swine! She's nothing! Coward! I won't perish in this godforsaken land for your sake! See how you fare in an equal fight, barbarian! I've had enough of this! You betrayed me! Witch, you'll pay for this! Prepare to taste! What happened? They breathe no more, my lord! The purple lotus! I smeared its juice on my shuriken. You see the result. <laughs> Brains over brawn. Impressive! I was promised my freedom! And you shall have it! After your victory feast. That is isn't necessary. Ha <laughs> ha! I insist! <laughs> oh, Needle, not like this place. Hmm, very nice. Baron Shadow will want this necklace for a trophy. Take it away. Ah, oh, Jasmine, my sweet, come closer. I am intrigued by your skills and beauty. I might see fit to employ them both. Sharto, if I am to serve you, I would need my weapons. But they are promised to another. I will gain great power when I deliver the star metal to my new ally. You have no doubt heard of Rathamoth. Rathamoth? Oh yes, I've heard of him. I've been promised my pick of kingdoms for delivering these weapons. Give them about 20 minutes, and the meat should fall right off the bones. Now, where's the garlic? <laughs> My spice rack! Ah, ah, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> what is this? Ah, just what we need for the appetizer. How shall we prepare him? I have the perfect sauce for small birds. It's made with pomegranate. I'm looking forward to the main feast. Conan and Sula were two prime physical specimens. I will enjoy having them for dinner. You, you disease for murder! You 
should have been my consort. Now you shall share the fate of your friends. You want this, Shartle? Ah! <laughs> Jasmine, keep them busy! Whatever you are doing, make it fast! First, I have a debt to pay. We cannot abandon those who helped us. <laughs> Farewell, my brothers. Run far and free. Conan, you saved my son, the Wasai Prince. My entire kingdom would not be sufficient reward. The friendship of the Wasai is reward enough. We must keep a closer watch upon Shato, now that we know he serves Rathoman. I live! You live from escape! Not I! That fool Shato with his arena and games! You chose him! This is twice you have failed me! If you were not so valuable to me as a spy, I would not be lenient! Do not fail a third time! I am pleased that my training in the uses of dangerous plants served you well. Yes, Lamu. I remembered your teaching that a tiny amount of the purple lotus juice would create a coma and slow the heart to almost nothing. Zula passed this knowledge to Jesmond through Needle. And Needle awakened them with the white lotus, a natural antidote. Ah, ah, Needle did good! Needle smart! Needle brave! Ah, 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 ah. For your valor, Needle, you shall be rewarded with... An entire vat of pomegranate pulp. <laughs> hey, not so messy. Needle need to save Conan more often. <laughs> His quest to undo the spell of living stone cast upon his family by driving the evil serpent men back into another dimension and vanquishing their leader, the cruel wizard Rathamon. Conan, the adventurer. The interchangeable system of parts, weapons, and support equipment. Can SolarTech overcome the evil creation of TerrorTech? A creation limited only by your imagination. Aquatech, I'll need your arms. LaserTech, I'll need your weapons and helmet. Now we're even, TerrorTech. Shake that. SolarTech, the victor. Maybe this time, but my evil brain will rise again. Mantech Robot Warriors, the interchangeable system. Adventure beyond the human experience. Decoding shield of the dreaded Dr. Doom has ordered him to blow up the Freedom Tower. Dr. Octopus, Dr. Doom, Captain America, and Spider-Man each sold separately. Here's how it works, Dr. Octopus. Just slip the secret message in the secret shield. Now our secret mission is revealed. How do we stop him, Captain America? That's our secret, Spider-Man. Dr. Doom, Captain America, and other action figures from the Marvel Secret Wars collection, each sold separately. New from Mattel. You know. I know there's a whole lot of theories on who Conan actually, you know, it represents. Um, I believe 
Conan represents Robert E. Howard, what he, the man he really wished he could have been. Uh, it's wish fulfillment. Um, everybody wishes they could have been Conan. Every guy wishes he could be Conan. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I if I could have been Conan, I, I'm I'm very much of the thing is I love the first two movies, love the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, stuff like that. Uh, and if you read the books, that's not Conan. Uh, Conan was built like a panther, not like a bull. Um, so Jason Momoa fitted the actual mold of Conan a little bit better, uh, even though the movie wasn't very good. But I still liked it because of Conan. But I don't know what. I mean, I, dude, I'd love to be jacked and giant like freaking Jason Momoa. Holy crap. That's the, that's, that's Jason Momoa. That's, that's a good-looking dude. I don't know why. I wish I could pull that off. I'm not. I'm like 5'9". I weigh like 180 pounds. And I go to the gym a lot, and I will never look like that. Ever. Unless, you know, wish fulfillment. Like, I got a genie would be the only way I could ever look like that. So. But, hey. But, here we go. I'm glad you guys are still liking the Conans. Um, but we're rolling on down the road with Mask. Mobile Armored Strike Command. We all know the command starts with a K. Um, man, I I was so pumped when the rumor was was that Mask was going to be folded into the G.I. Joe Transformers universe with um, the one of them they were going to introduce. Essentially, G.I. Joe was going to be introduced in Bumblebee and you're going to find out that John Cena was a member of John Cena's character was a member of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe was going to build transformable uh, weapons to counteract the transformer threat. And that's how Mass was going to become a They were going to be a division of G.I. Joe. And then Venom was going to come around as a division of Cobra. Which makes sense because you have Cobra and Venom. But they, they were made by two separate toy companies back in the day. Because it was Kenner and Hasbro. So, man, tell me, tell me, wouldn't it wouldn't be a good idea. Just figure out how to make G.I. Joe and, and Transformers and, and uh, Mask one universe and introduce it into the uh, the, the theater. I don't know why, I'd go see it. Um, but here you guys go. This is Mask episode 11. 11 episodes of Mask. Uh, and this is Magma Mole. Enjoy. back memories for me, Matt. My ancestors lived in this part of Japan for almost 1,500 years. I'm sure they wouldn't be pleased to know venom agents have been sighted in this area. Look, Scott. What? That guy in the waterfall. Yeah, I wonder why. He looks good, good cold. The Japanese priest sits in the cold waterfall like that for training. Now, if you step this way, years ago, the ancient priest would spend years in these tiny caves. Whoa! 
It's hard work to be a Japanese priest. Ooh, what are those marks on the walls? They look like waves. Those marks are from the time when this whole area was covered by the ocean. Hmm. Uh, uh, lady, does the ocean ever come back here? <laughs> no, no. The water has been gone for millions of years. Dad! That's impossible! Hold on to the rail. <gasps> what is it? Flash flood? Can't be. This water's salty. It's seawater. T-Bob! Where's T-Bob? Help! 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 I'm never coming to Japan again. Oh. Oh. Obviously, this is where the water's coming in. Let's see if we can find out how. Scott, your job is to make sure the boat stays put. Yes, sir. Ready, Bruce? We should have a bigger boat. I think I'm getting seasick. Wow, the current is terrific. Look at these edges. It's man-made. You're right. But I don't know of any technology that could dig something like this. Matt, there's something glowing just inside the tunnel. It might be a clue. I'll try to get it. Careful, Matt. The water's moving awful fast. What's more? Metal sample analyzed. Alloy based on extremely rare element, endurium. All known quantities recently stolen. Stolen? By whom? Only one auto surveillance photo of suspect available. Sly! Venom! Computer, scan files. Select mask agents best suited for this mission. Recommended personnel, Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer and design specialist. Vehicle code name, Rhino. Alex Sector, computer and communications expert. Zoology specialist, vehicle code name, Rhino. Brad Turner, expert motorcycle and helicopter pilot. Vehicle code name, Condor. Ando McLean, weapons specialist and field strategist. Vehicle code name, Firecracker. Class dismissed. Yeah. Yeah. Buddy Hawk, Master of Disguise, Intelligence Expert, Vehicle Code Name, Firecracker. Gloria Baker, Champion Race Driver, Black Belt in Kung Fu, Function, Co Pilot, Vehicle Code Name, Thunderhawk. Selection complete.
This is it. The second hole found in the satellite photo. There are faint traces of endurium left. This is undoubtedly the work of our Venom friends. But I have no idea how... Shh! Something's coming out of the tunnel. Feels good being out of that dark tunnel. You're right. Since when have snakes become moles? So, what brings Venom to Japan? It's mask! Let's get them. It figures. I finally get to see Japan, and it's from underneath. Rax, holy mayhem. It's mask. They found the tunnel. Then invite them in and separate them. We'll have to split up. Be careful. We're going after him. Stay with Brenna, Bruce. We'll stick like glue. Let's slow this fella down. Don't tell me you lost him. What do you think? We got ESP? Which one do you think he took? What's your game? You're not fighting and you're not really running. Oh no! But that's a warfield. What's going on here? Where in the world did rocks go? Good Lord, what on earth is that? Say hello to Magma Mall. repel something that big. You better hope I can. Aura, ah! I can hold it! Ah! Say, Gloria, good show. This is really getting steep. Where's Mayhem think he's going? China? Give me some room, Matt. The old antimatter ray ought to liven up his day. Wait, Brad, look. Look out, he hit water. Get out of the tunnels, the whole place is flooding. Venom's trap. The antimatter ray is going to take forever to eat through this much rock, Matt. We don't have forever. Matt, what are you doing? Playing a long shot. I'm getting something. Brad, hit right here with the antimatter ray. I don't get it, but I hope it works fast. Hey, look! It's 
It's a cave. I see daylight. Okay, everybody. Move it. Move it. How did you ever figure out the cave was here, Matt? Spectrum sonar capability. I sent signals through the rock. And also the echo pattern told me where the cave was. This is going to make Miles Mayhem very unhappy. So my message is simple, Mr. Prime Minister. If Japan does not agree to my demands, I shall use my magma mold to make Mount Fuji erupt. Tokyo will be destroyed completely. You are aware of the power of magma mold. From that little demonstration earlier, you have 12 hours to make your decision. <laughs> where is Mask? They are now working in the seismic laboratory. These are seismographs, T-Bob. They detect earthquakes. Japan has little earthquakes all the time. What? First the place springs a leak, and now you tell me this? Why'd we ever come to this country? Shh. Dad said we could only watch if we don't get in the way. I'll be happy to get out of the way. Take me home. How's it going, guys? Well, the Japanese have provided superb seismographic equipment, and our friend Bruce has been modifying it, though I confess I'm not sure why. A whale cannot swim without moving the water. Ah, oh, gee, Bruce, can't you ever give us a break? He just means that magma mole can't cut through a rock without giving off a seismic wave, and he's trying to detect it. There, the whale. It's coming to the surface. Perhaps to breathe? Who cares why? If it surfaces, that's our chance to nail it. What's the location? Mount Fuji. All right, let's go. from the Prime Minister. No. They seem to be taking this lightly. Okay, I'll give Tokyo a little present. An earthquake. Hurry with those power cells. The mole is low on power. away until I get full power. Hurry with those power cells, you idiots. I'll keep Switchblade busy, Matt. You go after them all. Watch yourself, Brad. She can outfly you in that thing. Help fly me? Get serious. I'll fix the little mosquito. You don't stand a chance this time. Getting away. Take over, Gloria. There's no way Mask can stop me now. Shut this thing down, Mayhem. You're not going anywhere. Sniper Mask, fire! I blocked the mole on automatic. When it hits molten magma, it'll release the biggest volcano in history. Hondo, go after Mayhem. I've got to stop this thing. 
Roger, Matt. This lady's a tough customer. I've got him now. Now. Boo, what's happening? This thing is trying to fly by itself. Say goodbye to your fearless leader, fools. He's on his way to the center of the Earth. Matt, you must stop before you're too deep. The heat will kill you. It's already plenty hot, Alex. But I can't stop this one-way elevator. I can't even break anything. It's all made of endurium alloy. Matt, perhaps the wind can do what the hammer cannot. Ultrasonic vibration. Good idea, Bruce. Spectrum on. <laughs> It stopped. I could sure use an air conditioner. Matt! Matt! He's over a mile and a half down. I'll get him with the penetrator. Don't try it, buddy. Penetrator doesn't have nearly enough power to go through that much rock. You're gonna come up here and stop me? Firecracker's generator will give you extra power. Ugh. Buddy. Ugh. You must stop at precisely the coordinates given by Spectrum, or you'll materialize in solid rock. And I don't know if penetrator circuits can take it. I know, I know. Let's do it. Hurry! He's gonna cook down there. Penetrator on! Hi, guy. Uh, need a lift? Uh. Magma Mole has disappeared from the radar. Buddy? Matt! Saltwater Lake gonna stay here? Looks that way. It may become quite a tourist attraction. Hey, Scott, dive off the rock. I'll take your picture. Wait a second, T-Bob. I don't know how deep it is. Dad, could you check? It's plenty deep enough, but you're very smart to check, Scott. You should always be certain that water is deep enough before you dive in, even if it's a swimming pool. for fun that's out of sight. Get the family together for a family reading night. Turn Grandma in to Captain Hook, let Dad play gun again. Pick your favorite book, give out the parts, and let the fun begin. It's hilarious. <laughs> and it's easy. And it's great for any weather. Read a book tonight. You'll see I'm right. <laughs> reading is so together. Yeah, Rancor, Monster. 
monster's hungry again. Let's beat up. Don't do it. Luke Skywalker, Gamorrean Guard, new Rancor Monster and Rancor Keeper action figures, each sold separately. You regret this. <laughs> Wait till he gets his claws into a Jedi Knight. Whoa, son, Jaws, this is my only chance. <laughs> He's wounded. We better get in there. Because he'll never get out alive, Gamorrean Guard. New Rancor Monster. Action figures each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. Oh, right. Hope you guys are still liking Mask. So, this time we'll put these at the end because a lot of you guys have asked for anime and stuff like that. So, I like both of these cartoons and I watched one back in the day when I was a kid. Watched them both. So, we're going to continue with Thunderbirds 2086. Uh, and this is episode three. Uh, this is one of a kind. Enjoy. Is ever expanding the frontiers of technical superiority into areas unknown and uncharted. Each quest promises marvelous discoveries, but each also brings potential danger. In direct response to the dangers of our advanced technology, we need an organization that is ready to mobilize dramatic survival resources at a moment's notice. Conceptions and rescue that can challenge the impossible. <laughs> Thunderbirds 2086. The Thunderbirds, five of the finest cadets in the world, dedicated to the service of mankind wherever he may be in distress. Combined with a dazzling array of vehicles and equipment designed to specifications in the space age technology of the 21st century. A special rescue squad ready to answer a last chance distress call. A call that could arrive at any time from any disaster scene on or off this planet. These are the Thunderbirds 2086. This is Firefly to Ranger Base. We're over the last quadrant, but there's still no sign of Goliath. Brian's gonna take us around for a final sweep now. If we don't find anything, you'll have to send in your hunter. I read you, Firefly, but that specimen was not bred as a predator. Doesn't make sense. Attacking innocent tourists destroys that theory. The laws of the wilderness cannot be written in a laboratory. This jeopardizes the entire forest repopulation program. Don't lecture me, Doc. I know what I've got to do. Uh, <gasps> it's Goliath! Oh, 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 it's 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 oh, oh, let's get it! Make sure your stunner's on high. Easy there. Look out! Let's get out of here! We've got to get word up to Doc Olsen to send a full team to this quadrant. I can't believe two rangers had run from a lone buck. It's got the strength of ten men. And now that deer has gone mad. Is he so mad he's eluded your entire squad? You're all fool. Come back! How could Doc Olsen have hired such a crazy old fool? I've been tracking this buck all of my life, and he knows I'm coming for him. We're one of a kind, him and me. I'm going in after him. Thunderbird 6, Space Station. This is Thunderbirds 1, 2, and 3, Captain Hanson commanding. Roger, Grant. Have you loud and clear. Roger. Thunderbirds ready for remote operations test. Okay, Grant. All usual areas are clear. TB6 out. Jesse, take Thunderbird 10. Roger.
separate. Roger. Ignition. Make it 270 and bring her into area F. Roger. Okay, bring TB-10 to a halt. Reverse and thrust. Nose pod. Roger, exposing nose pod. Okay, Johnny, launch the spacewalkers. It's time to go into your routine. Launching remote walker. The walkers cleared the hatch. It's into space. Rust is fine. Come on, come on. Hurry up, Johnny. Hella repair circles in operation. Well, that's it. The auto nav is recalibrated in 25 seconds. Next time, you've got to try for 15 seconds. Okay, pick it up and we'll head for home. Roger. International Rescue Control, the Thunderbirds are on final approach. Thunderbird 3 on vertical descent. All retros on the mark. Touchdown. Thunderbird 1, commencing separation. Control Thunderbird 2 is in vertical mode. And we have... Touchdown. We're all in the nets, Commander Simpson. That was an excellent training run, Gran. Now have everyone report to the medical for their annual checkup, then they've got the weekend off. I guess you wouldn't want your family to forget about you, hmm? My family. Daddy, you won't be late for my birthday party, will you? Of course not, sweetheart. To you, your work has always come first, Gran. I've lived with that for so long, but she's just a child and she needs a full-time father. I've had enough. I'm leaving. I've had enough. I'm leaving. I know you're close. I can feel it like the storm of our destiny. I was right. You're no match for me. All too easy. Ah. fire stations immediately. Fire, one click, northeast of LaPorte nuclear reactor. Evacuate the area. Await instructions at the fire road south of the park headquarters. Crazy old fool out here. It's the end of the line. This is Commander Simpson. Satellite scans forest fire in the Rocky Mountain Preserve near Laporte. Get me the superintendent of parks. I must say, every one of the patients is in terrific shape. Let's run them through stress analysis, and then we'll be done. Hey, Jesse, why don't we go island hopping with hover jet skis? Well, let's take Dylan out to the dunes with some turbo buggies. Thunderbird team, report for immediate firefighting assignment in the Rockies. 
Firefighting is not what I had in mind for a weekend leave. We were looking forward to a weekend of r and R. Is a whole team needed to fight a fire? What about some of the local fire brigades? The fire isn't fire from the reactor in Laporte. In addition, the Forestry Service wants a valuable cybernetic deer brought in. That's life. Let's go. Hmm, Hanson's results are interesting. Hey, Grant, I guess we'll need anti-fire foam bombs. Listen, just be prepared for launch. Ignition. <laughs> what happened? Fire! <laughs> I've got to get out of here. Thunderbird 2 is heading to 180 for link-up. Thunderbird 2, I have you on target. Coupling flanges deployed. We have link-up. All systems nominal. Your team checks out fine, except for Captain Hanson. Just what's the matter with Hanson? Well, his pulse is up, his weight is up, his blood pressure's up, all conditions that point to high stress. And in my opinion, you'd better keep a very close eye on him. I wonder what's really the matter. Thunderbird 3 is rolling. 3, this is Thunderbird 2 on approach. Hold on. We got you, 3. International Rescue, Thunderbird's launched and configured for firefighting. Make sure the area is clear. Roger. Thunderbirds, we sent a hunter to retrieve the malfunctioning robot, and he hasn't returned. Thunderbirds, this is Dr. Zig Olson. That deer is not a robot, but the result of years of research and development. It is part of an invaluable experiment. The fire is raging in quadrants 10 and 11, but we'll try to rescue the two of them. The future of our wildlife could depend on that deer's survival. That buck must have his chance. We'll clear a wide fire break and then drop foam bombs to smother the fire. Captain, those bombs could smother the deer. That specimen's the ultimate bionic construction. It's a lifetime's work, and it could give a future to endangered species all over the world. Two of our team will search the fire area for the hunter and the deer and try to save them, but there's little time. The reactor has priority and the fire breaks won't hold forever. Jesse, take TB-12. Callum, you and I will take TB-3 and search for that cyborg deer. Roger, Graham. Clear, TB-12. Thunderbird 3 is going in. Look at that! Ranger Station, what about those smoke jumpers Steamboat promised? The plane had to abort the mission. We might be able to get some Air Force tankers to help out with a water drop. Callan and I are headed northeast to where the hunter and the deer were last seen. <coughs> if I could just get to that emergency phone. I hope it still works. Is that you, McMahon? Come in. Can you read me? McMahon! You need help. Come in. Come in. McMahon, can you read me? Oh, no. It's gone dead. Thunderbird 3, I just received an emergency signal. It could have been from McMahon. What area? Sector 89. But watch it, Captain. That sector's all swamped.
We'll be too late. There's just too much land to search. Oh, my head. Huh? What is that? It's finally time. Time for you and me to meet. I'm coming for you now. We have to stop now. Raise the scope. Check the image processor. Roger. Ah. I knew you'd be here. We've got something to settle, you and I. The final test for survival. The gene engineers did a great job on you. But you can't win. You see, they did a better job on me. <laughs> Okay, Graham, we're at the emergency phone location. Granny's got a knife. Possible. We're one of a kind. Uh. Is it true? Is it really true that the deer and you are both bionic? I was reconstructed after a hunting accident almost killed me. That deer and I are part of the same experiment. It was Doc Olson's idea. He wanted to construct a natural ecosystem. That's why he included me, to see the deer with a predator. What he didn't expect was that the buck would breed true. Goliath tried to save his family. Now you must save them. You better rest. DB3, the wind direction's changed. The fire could turn. We'll have to move very fast, Callan. I'm gonna need all the power we've got. saw that one coming. I can pull you up a bit and we can move forward a little, but I can't hold 90 tons forever. Thanks, Dylan. I'll start moving, but you have to guide me. Just another 20 yards. <sighs> That's good, Dylan. There's too much debris. I can't make them out. Activate the floodlights and intensify the image processor. Them, but if we don't hurry, we'll never get them out. But this area is full of quicksand. I have an idea that might work. Use the escape capsule to jump you over the bog and then try to grab the fawn. Its mother might follow you back into the capsule. anything to you anymore? Gran, you've got to move fast. Here goes. The thrust must be exact, but the verniers weren't designed for such fine adjustment. I 
can't do it. I need my family. I'm nothing without them. Oh, man. We got to widen the fire break. Yo, Thunderbird 1. Dylan, the wind's really picking up. Fire's getting too close to the reactor. You've got to get those foam bombs away. Grant, the tension won't hold. Hansen, you've got to retrieve those specimens. There's no time. Do you hear me, Captain Hansen? If you cannot retrieve them, you must abandon the creatures. There are too many lives at stake, and the situation is critical. Are you reading me? Captain James, what's going on? I've got to fight this. If I'm no good at my job, I'm not good for anything. But this is what I've chosen. If they really love me, they'll understand that. Gran, the rock slide, it's coming down. This is Captain Hansen, escape pod, ready for launch. Reverse thrust. those bombs away. Launching foam bombs. Yahoo! The flames have all been smothered. Beautiful work, gang. I wish I could take him home with me. He's so cute. This is his home, Skipper. And soon Goliath will be with him again. Goodbye, I'll come back and see you. Oh, and I've got just enough time to make a special birthday party with my family at home. I know they're going to make it. A future for our forests. for attack. Max Ray calls step charger. Energize. Torpedo. Thrusters. Canopy down. Dive. The villain's trap max. Energize. Mode 2. Hydromite. Missiles. Speed thrust. Attack. Power extreme. Machine. Step charger comes as shown. Figure sold separately. New from Kenner. Hey, hope you guys still liking the Thunderbirds. Um, I, 
I don't remember when I used to watch Thunderbirds. I think it was on during the, the day, during the afternoon. Um, I think it was one of the ones that came on late. So I'm going to say it came on like like five. Uh, it's definitely one I watched at a weird time when I was a kid. Uh, it wasn't the one that came on right after school, so it wasn't like the ones that came on at three to, to, to five. So it wasn't like your He-Man or your G.I. Joe or your Transformers. Uh, but it was one after those. So, um, we're going to go. I aired it last week just to see if we can get away with it. We're bringing you Ray Dean. Uh, Ray Dean is right there, is Ray Dean. Ray Dean, in my area, in my, was uh, part of the Shogun Warrior block, uh, which they showed, uh, um, uh, sometimes it was called Roboformers, uh, stuff like that. Um, but it was, they would take anime that already existed and just cobble them together um, and show like an episode of Radiant, an episode of Mazinger Z, an episode of, of uh, uh, Getter Robo and Call It Dragoon, you know, stuff like that. Um, this, I loved, still loved it. Uh, like I said, Radiant, right there. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I, I had to get him, find him, and that is where he will stay. Uh, I keep telling my wife that uh, if I die, uh, they're going to have to make a Shogun Warrior and put my ashes inside of that. No jar. I would just be inside of a Shogun Warrior. And uh, maybe 3D print it out of metal. You know, so it's a metal Shogun Warrior. 3D print that out of metal. Fill it with ash. And it's me for eternity. I'm in rating. I know that's morbid because I'm talking about dying, but yeah. We're old. All of us guys are getting older watching this show. Uh, I've talked to a lot of you out there, and I know we're getting older. But here you go. So I'm almost 50. So, all right, here you guys go. This is rating episode three. This is Garda Iron Beast. Enjoy. は帝国が探し求める武藤に繋がりあるもの速やかに倒さねばなりませんおら我が父よ上げあるの指揮する戦闘軍団を出撃させます出撃の用意えへえエロスタン鋼鉄銃を母母いざ降り立てよ悪
マシン好きの親父が作ってくれたこのスパーカーがライディーンにフェードインするのに役立ってくれるとはなはいねえアキラゆうべいいこと聞いちゃったわみんなに言っちゃおうかなえ何を寝言よお母さんなんてさまさかこの俺がそんなこと言うわけないだろキラのやつサボってマリちゃんとデートしやがってからによーし見てろ俺だってかっこいいとこ見せてやっからなファイトファイトあ先輩フェードインしてやっからなうーん,うーん汚ねえの自分だけフェードインしようなんてそんなのずるいよじゃあ何かお前たちにフェードインができると思ってんのかキャー先輩は俺は副キャプテンだ見てろあらいそう危ないぞやめて男が一度やると言ったらやめられねえなよ今度はこの俺様が悪魔たちと戦ってやるってフェードフェードライディオー大丈夫かアライソー痛かったろで穴が張ったら入りて僕。あの者たちですプリンスシャーキー先日アギャール将軍がひっとらえてきた響き一郎たちベロスタル間違いなくムートロン調査隊の者だなはい幸い今宵は満月ムートロンの手がかりを聞き出してご覧に入れますよし悪魔の時代を早く築き上げるために何としても聞き出せいはあ、はあ私お湯が染みてるこったろうなおいいいでライディンメンフェードインさせてくれないのいいでどうしたのアキラライディンが俺を呼んでいる呼んでいるあ
私ども雷電園に不正と言いしたが行け沢だよ雷電を粉々に打ち砕け小僧どもの命はないぞやれかだ渦まってしまっている早く助けなきゃ来月目そうはさせんぞ
ムートロンのある場所を言わぬ限りお前は満月の度に死ぬより辛い苦しみを味わうぞムートロンのことは言えぬムートロンのことは言えぬどうしたアキラ体が動かせないんだお前は悪魔と戦えはライディーンが動かないいいぞ早くとどめをさせ早くするやつは叩き落とせ早く早く登ってよ荒磯くんええやってるじゃねえかよもっとちゃんとおっしゃってんだよいやあいやもうこのまま外には出れねえかもしれねえぞ<笑>泣きてんのは俺の方だよどうやってここから抜け出せばいいんだよ<笑>せめてロープでもありゃいいんだがいてだだだよこんなものこれぞ天の助けだあの飛行機だよでも誰かしらしておる全力でライディーンに体当たりをしろガーダー許せよポンタズズズしてるとここから出れなくなっちまうんだいてえか我慢しろよ行くだったらの壁に閉じ込められるのだ
、スピード。見たこともねえ鳥だ。おお、あの鳥はなんだ。おい、おい、ガーダー何をしておる。その鳥をやっつけろ鳥か、俺にもわからないんだとにかく敵の爆発から逃げようと必死になったらああなったんだふーんでもいいじゃないライディーンまるで神様がついているみたいでさ<笑>それじゃああれは神様の鳥かなそうゴッドバードってさの声が聞こえてきてそしてライディーンは動けなくなった教えてくれライディーン一体何が起こっているんだ三つ持ってったので三兆合金。四個だから四兆合金。今のは本家兆合金。家元兆合金。持ってくるほら。内兆合金。ポピーの兆合金シリーズ。兆合金はポピーだけ。死んだ勇者ライディーンポピーより新登場。All right. I hope you liked Ray Dean. I do. I know it's a little dated. It's an older cartoon, but man, it's fun.、Um, I know it's subtitled. I wish I could find a dubbed one for you guys, but I like subtitled more than I like dubbed.、Um, so 
that being said, remember, don't forget, we'll be giving the signed copy of Feast Away, double signed, next week on Sci Fridays. So check it out. Maybe you could win it. If you're living in the continental United States, you could win that. Um, and here we go, the spiel. I know I missed it the last couple weeks because we've been working up to this. I got some uh, interviews ready to go. We'll be dropping new episodes of Group Therapy TV this Monday at, at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Sci Fridays at every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saturday morning serials here on YouTube every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on the Monster Channel. Check out the Monster Channel. It's on Roku. It's, it's, it's streaming online. Check out the Monster Channel. We are there every Saturday and Tuesday morning. So you can watch us in multiple places. And enjoy every one of them. So, all right, guys. I got my Patreon. Got that going. Remember, not next week. Week after, we're going to do a giveaway or, or a prize on this show. So be prepared. Trying to figure out, put a prize pack together, you know, going to get something cool away. Uh, but remember, I haven't said this in a while, just because you grow older doesn't mean you have to grow up. There's always time for cartoons. And uh, you can check us out coming up at Jim and Dan Comic, Con, Jim and Dan Comic Show at the Wright State Student Union Center. Uh, that is up. October. You can check that out. And November 13th, the return of Pickwicon. You can come check me out there. Say hi. And that will be at the Miami Valley Center Mall located in Pickwick, Ohio. 45356. Um, but I'm going to let everybody go for today. And I will see you guys next week. And take care. And I'll see you all there.